Autumn is here, which means it's time to start getting ready for festivities. Usually, I'm all for warm, toasty looks, but a cool, taupe eyes with a fabulous red lip was calling out to me this season. Let's get started. First, let's touch up the base. I'm using my Holy Grail Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation in the shade Golden Ivory. Using a wet sponge, I'm going to pat and blend the product for even skin tone. I definitely have some imperfections on my face, so I'll be using the Selena Gomez Rare Concealer to cover them up. It's in the shade 190W. I'm using it to brighten my under eye area, the redness around my nose, and the darkness around my mouth. I recently discovered MAC's Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and this has quickly reached holy grail status for me in terms of eye primers. I love how it neutralizes the color of my eyelids, and it does a great job of priming my eyes. I definitely like this one better than the Urban Decay's Primer Potion, which makes my eyes water for some strange reason. Here I am using the Max Omega Eyeshadow, which is the perfect transition shade. Using a fluffy brush, I'm first applying it to the outer corners of my eyes for more depth before blending it out to the entire lid. I'm also pulling the color diagonally out for more length. Next, going into a smaller, more compact brush, I'm using the same shade for my lower lash line. This eyeshadow is definitely the star of the show. It's so pigmented and buttery soft that I'll be actually using my fingers to apply it and then blend it out. I'm using a mix of a padding slash like swiping motions to apply the shadow with my fourth finger. Once it's on the center of the eyelid, I'm carefully using a window wiper motion to pull the color up higher. Just to make sure there's no patchy areas, I'm smoothing out the edges so it's a soft, smooth, smoky look. And here's the hard part, which is me trying my best to make sure both eyes are symmetrical. Take your time with this part, don't rush it. Going in with a smaller pointed brush, I'm darkening the outer corners with a more satin taupe to bring more depth to the eyes. Now to bring balance and harmony, let's apply to the lower lash line too. I have used the Kat Von D's pen liner in Trooper for years now. It certainly gets the job done, which I like. Pressing the heel of my hand onto my cheek, I'm carefully drawing small strokes as close to the lashes as possible. Lately, as I've been getting older, I am really gravitating more towards thin eyeliner looks than thicker cat eyes. Okay, do not underestimate this $15 Sephora pencil liner. Holy moly, this is such a creamy eyeliner that is easy to apply, doesn't break the bank, and has true staying power once it's dry. I'm tight lining and filling in any gaps the Kat Von D pen liner missed. Going into Dior's highlighting palette, I'm going to apply this shimmery brown shade to the center of my eyelid for a little bit more oomph to the look.
So I have short Asian lashes. So you know a sister can use all the help she can get with this Shiseido Lash Curler. This is one of my favorite mascaras by Benefit Cosmetics. It does a phenomenal job at lengthening and volumizing my lashes. Before I apply lipstick, I am drawing on my lips with Max Chicory Lip Liner. I'm usually not a fan of lip liners, but I do feel it's a must, especially for that perfect red lip. It helps the lip color to last longer, and a bleeding red lip line definitely isn't cute. I love this MAC Gingerly blush because it's just so easy to apply. It's a very wearable red blush that applies evenly but is also very buildable. I think it complements this eye look and the lips very well, cohesively tying the look together. Going into my good old trusty contour palette by Kat Von D, I'm going around the perimeters of my face to chisel out my features a bit more. I recently transitioned from a warm toned brow product to an ashy brown, and I think it works better for me personally. This brow pencil does a great job at creating fine strokes to mimic brow hairs. Just to fill in sparse areas a bit more, I'm going back in with the matching brow powder and ash brown. And we are done! Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please press the like button and subscribe if you would love to see more content and I would really appreciate your support. Stay safe, stay golden, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!